shame, shame, shame. The same old picture in a brand new frame, and they unveiled it just last week. No one came. What a shame. Fool, fool, fool. Showing up naked again like that for school, and diving headfirst into an empty pool. You're a fool. It was mine, but you put it right back on your sleeve. And goddamn it, if I don't sing along and tap my feet. Poor, poor, poor. You're stealing from the rich, but you're making sure there's a foundation with your name where everyone keeps score. Poor. No one's listening, no one cares. But something is happening. I can feel. No one came. What a shame. What a shame. It is my pure delight tonight to have Natalia Zuckerman as my musical guest. Thank you, Natalia, so much for being here with us tonight. Thanks for having me. Now, Natalia, you've played us um, a number of songs from your brand new CD called Brand New Frame. Tell us about the production of this CD. Well, it's produced by Willie Porter. Yay, Willie. Who we love, who's been on this show. And uh, we recorded it in Milwaukee in his studio. And um, a lot of the guys that are in his band played on it. I met Willie just um, opening for him about a year prior to that. And um, about a year later, I was saying I was getting ready to record a new record. And he said, well, I have this studio in Milwaukee. And why don't you come over and we'll make a record. Weasel so, Records yeah. is his studio. The musicians that <clears throat> have played on his albums and toured with him, um, Dave Shepke on drums, Dave Adler on piano, um, Brian Muir on bass, and then your other musicians that you knew, that you pulled in, yeah. who were those? Um, Marty Ballou, who lives in Rhode Island, a great upright player. Edie Carey sings some background oh, wonderful. vocals. Um, Melissa Ferret plays some flugelhorn. Uh, Todd Sikafus played upright bass as well, and Allison Miller came in and did some percussion. Sarah Lee, the bass player, she's so fabulous. She recorded about three of the tunes at the home studio, and we ended up using one note. <laughs> really? Yeah. This process was really different. I played the guitar first mm -hmm. to what's called a click track, so it's like the rhythm of the song. And then Dave Adler came in, the piano player. Yeah. Did he wear his shoes? No. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not. <laughs> Most people didn't wear shoes, though, because they had a comfortable environment. Um, and then the drummer came in, and then the bass players. Um, and like I said, we, didn't, we did some in a totally separate studio and flew those in. Now what was your most um, challenging song for you, the one that was just really hardest to get through on this CD for you, production-wise? You know, there's a song, uh, song for Ramblin' Jack. It started out, first of all, I rewrote it in the studio. Uh, it had a totally different ending. And it just was going down this country shuffle road. So we thought, let's do something really fun with this one. And we took it apart and really turned it inside out. And Dave Chepke, the drummer, came up with such a fun part. And, um, I ended up doing some guitar looping and then I played the lap steel and then it was really this kind of fun game to put it all together and make it sound like a whole band playing when it was really all these disparate parts. Really? And Yeah, and it, it, that was really outside of my experience. It, it became almost like a folk, folk hop 
that, song. That's great. Now, were there any songs that just were total magic, putting it from one end to the other? Yeah, actually, Better Me, which is the last track on the record. We were listening back in the studio, and Dave was in there doing some stuff, and we'd set up a water bottles and all sorts of fun things for him to play on, but it just wasn't working. I had played to a click, which um, I had never done before, so that one just sounded like it was kept in this little metal box and it needed to breathe. And It was late at night and Willie and I were listening to what he was doing along to my original track and there were just guitars sitting there so we just picked him up and started messing around. And um, I said, can we go and just do this live in the room? Like, they used to make records, mm -hmm. so, you know, we were, ah, it was really exciting. It was midnight already, and Al, the engineer, was like, oh, God, I want to go home so badly, but we set it up live and just did it in a couple takes that way and played it from beginning to end. Till I'm surrounded in a mystery, I'm shrouded in fisherman history, so come on up here with me. Look down, oh, and carry you away. You're in a holy, unholy place, and I have been waiting for you on a widow's wall. Yeah, I'm just waiting for you on a widow's wall. Have you been singing for as long as you remember? Yeah, we had, my sister's an opera singer, uh, and she was always, we listened to, um, watched a lot of musicals as kids, which I'm not a fan of now, but we sang show tunes together a lot <laughs> <laughs> as kids, and we did you know, Edelweiss duet <laughs> together repeatedly. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I've definitely been singing, but I've never had any formal training. She's actually given me a few lessons, and nice. it's been... I actually, I think about her every time I perform because of the very few things that have stuck in my head about breath support and trying to open up. The, she knows all about the bone structure and what's happening inside your head when you're singing. And you are from a very musical family. Your um, father, Pincus Zuckerman, is a conductor and a violinist. And a violist. And, violist. Yeah. and your mom, Eugenia, is a flautist. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's something that's really fun that I think Particularly, my dad gets a real kick out of finding out where I am. Mm -hmm. He'll call and say, where are you today? And uh, he knows where all the sushi restaurants are in every town. <laughs> so that's kind of great. He's an encyclopedia of sushi. If you're in Indianapolis, he knows where to go. If you were a car, what type of car would you be? <laughs> Is this the really question? <laughs> Crap. I would be... Uh, well, there's the one I want to be. And then there's the one I probably am. <laughs> I would love to be like um, one of those bubbly front pickup trucks because I think they're so great. And it would be like rusty blue with a little of the red showing through because I just so want to be Laura Ingalls like on the farm kind of girl. But I grew up in Manhattan on the upper west side, so I'm probably like a Bentley or something. <laughs> you know, that takes a lot of maintenance. <laughs> Medium maintenance. <laughs> Medium maintenance. It depends who you ask, but yeah. yeah. There's a better me that I've been working on I've got beliefs now that I'm going on But there's a place deep down where I come from All the time, all the time And there's a better you that I've been waiting on I've got this book you should read when I get done It says a better you has been here all along All the time, all the time And all this time that I spent with you Just trying 